Thank you for purchasing the Forearm Strong. Making the Forearm Strong part of your training routine is one of the best decisions you can make if you're serious about being the best you can be. Now let's make sure you're using the Forearm Strong correctly. To start, let's go over a few of the parts. This is the cuff which will wrap around half of your forearm. This is the strap which holds the cuff in place. And this is the knob which we will use to tighten this, the contact, onto your skin. You'll be stretching the muscles in the forearm flexor bundle in four different positions. This is the area that we'll be making contact. First notice that the knob is tilted and that tilt will always be towards your hand. Slide the forearm strong so the outside edge is touching the crease between your bicep and forearm. Make sure the contact position is on the lower part of your forearm and then tighten up the strap. Alright, so the next uh, key part in this uh, exercise is to relax the forearm, make sure it's in the 90 uh, degree position, bring the, the, the hand backward so it's fully relaxed and then you want to tighten the contact point at least four turns in to get some good pressure there in a relaxed position and then go out to the stretch. And the other thing with the stretch too is to you know hold it out there for at least maybe 10 to between 10 and 30 seconds is always good to get a good maximum stretch. Then raising it back up again, tighten it again in the relaxed position, and then back out to get a good full effect of the contact in the on the position in its tightest form when you're actually doing your stretch. Once again hold it out there 10 to 30 seconds. Back in again at the relaxed position, snugging it up again and then actually doing the stretch again. And you probably want to do that at least two to four times in each position. So now that you've done the first position and you've done the exercise two to four times, you want to take the, the tension off and you want to release the Velcro and then rotate the contact point up your forearm, further up, as you can see. And then once again, in the relaxed position, you want to tighten it up again and do the same thing. Stop in the left. Biggest thing to remember relaxed position, make the tension with the contact, and then start the stretch again. Now that you've done the first two positions, the third position is just in front towards your, your uh, hand. Move that over a little bit. Once again, I'm going to get it snug. Relaxed position. And once again, remember the relaxed position and then start the same pressure procedure going onto the same stretch. All right, so now we're going to do the fourth position, and that's basically moving it back down just in front of the first position. So we're basically forming our little square. And there again in the relaxed position now, tension everything up, tighten it up, and go back to the stretching. Each of the four positions, we're going to stretch it two to four times for 10 to 30 seconds. All right, so once you take it off now, you'll see the impressions that you have. You should have, there's the first position, second position, third position and the fourth position all in the shape of a square covering that uh, area. Right, for an advanced more effective stretch follow the same protocols however first stretch by extending your pinky and ring finger then stretch by extending your middle and index fingers then you'll want to reach under your wrist and stretch your thumb. This takes a little bit longer, but it isolates the muscles a bit more effectively and stretches out the hands very nicely. All right, so one of the questions we get asked a lot is how much pressure and how much tension do we apply on the forearm? And the way I look at it is it is very individual. You definitely want to have enough tension on the area that it is uncomfortable but not painful. And especially when you do the actual stretch part, you want to make sure you're feeling a decent amount of, of pressure 
on the point really where you feel that it it's definitely pulling on that area um, but once again not painful 